welcome back to my fitness channel. Today's video is going to be another what I eat in a day. And as I always say, if you guys are new here, I upload so many what I eat in a day videos. Over the past three years, there are so many on my channel. If you guys are interested in seeing kind of like over time, me losing weight, finding myself, all of those things. You can start from the beginning and watch all of them. I have a playlist, but make sure to subscribe if you guys aren't already. Recently, I started taking my health, but also just my life in general, a lot more serious. And I started seeing a lot of really good results. I'm living a more balanced life, I would say now. I'm not going like hardcore, super healthy 24 seven. And I'm also not, eating out all the time. Like I would normally kind of like go back and forth between like two extremes. And now I've found a good healthy medium that's really working for me. So since I would say mid December, I've lost about 31 pounds, which is super exciting for me. And I feel like I'm at a point where I'm like, I can keep going with this. Like I don't feel like I am pushing myself too hard to where I'm gonna wanna stop. Like this is just, it feels natural and it feels good. So I feel good and I like to share that with you guys, but that was a long intro. Just make sure you're subscribed, thumbs up this video because it really helps me out. Follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting stories and pictures and all that kind of stuff over there. And then also I have another channel called Molly's Life that I upload more vlogs and girly things on and I'll link that channel down below too. I would love for you guys to subscribe to that one as well. As you guys saw, I had my coffee this morning. It was really good. It was the new Starbucks vanilla. Um, let me see if I can find it in here. Yeah, I still have some of this skinny vanilla latte, but it's not my favorite. But I used the Starbucks vanilla blonde roast or vanilla medium roast, and it was really good. But now I'm getting a little bit hungry. You guys know I don't really get hungry right away when I wake up, but I'm finally feeling a little bit hungry. And today's video is sponsored by Built Bar again. I love them. So if you guys are new here, I work with Built Bar a lot. I absolutely love their protein bars. The things I will say about them is they are super consistently amazing. I've gone through so many boxes of them and every single time they're delicious. I love all the flavors. They have something for everyone. Today I'm gonna have the banana bread one. The best part about them is I get added protein in because y'all know I don't have a lot of meats. So I'm lacking a little bit in the protein category so it's nice to be able to have a protein bar that's delicious tastes like a candy bar but it's also giving me what i need with zero guilt so i'm gonna have the banana bread one today but what i'm gonna do is put it in the microwave because everyone has been telling me that if you put it in the microwave for like 15 minutes not 15 minutes oh my god it would explode if you put it in the microwave for 15 seconds it's supposed to taste even better and a girl that i'm friends with she posted on her story yesterday that she had the banana bread one in the microwave and that it's amazing so we're gonna put it in for 15 seconds not 15 minutes watch yourself stunning here's what she looks like popper in here hey girly hey. Guys, I sat down having full intentions of eating my Built Bar on camera. Look it. And they FaceTimed me literally right when I sat down to eat it. And I just ate it on FaceTime with her. And then before I knew it, an hour went by and we were still talking, but I just hung up with her. I'm never gonna eat a Built Bar the same way again. Okay, maybe I will, because they're still good the regular way, but heating them up, it makes it even more like dessert because the chocolate on the outside kind of melts and it's just like a new experience for me and I'm really into it. But sorry, I went MIA for a second there. I just, you know, got a little bit lost in FaceTime, but thank you so much to Bill Bar for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check the link out in the description box down below. They are absolutely delicious. So many flavors, something for everyone on their website. I recommend getting the mix box first because you have all of the options. I feel like Certain flavors that you wouldn't think that you would like might surprise you and you might actually have them be one of your favorites. So yeah, I'll have the link down below. I know so many of you guys have been ordering using my code, which I really appreciate. So click the link down below, check them out. They're delicious, I love them.
first official full meal of the day. So we're making a little bit of a breakfast bowl. I don't know, I've just been craving potatoes. So that's what we're going with. Um, I started by cutting up some baby potatoes. I did five, which I probably should have done four because this is a lot of potatoes. Just keep that in mind if you're making it for just one person. This is probably enough for two. But I cut them all up into little pieces and then I added them into some salted water and then you turn the heat up to like medium high and once it starts to boil, leave them in there for like eight minutes or so. And then I'll update you guys after. Um, I'm gonna do an arugula base and then I'm gonna put the potatoes in the air fryer in a little bit as the base because y'all know I just I love arugula recently so arugula as a base and as you can see there's just so much in these um, packages that I feel like I have to use arugula in every meal to make sure that it doesn't go to waste. I just sliced up some avocado. I forget what else I want to add into this. We have the avocado there, perfect. So yeah, we're gonna do like a hard boiled egg or two. Should I do one or should I do two? I think I'm just gonna do one because I can't picture myself eating two hard boiled eggs and all of that, all those potatoes, just me personally. So we'll hard boil one egg once the potatoes go in the air fryer as well. You know, nothing crazy, but it just takes a little bit longer to cook the potatoes. So more time consuming than my usual breakfast, I would say. My air fryer is preheating, which I always get questions about what air fryer I use. It's by Emeril Lagaze. I think that's how you say his last name. I don't know, he's from, um, what is that cooking show called? Not Chopped, but the other one. If I can find it online, I'll link it down below for you guys. I really like it. I took the potatoes out of the water, drained them, and then you just rough them up with your spoon a little bit. See how there's like texture on them now? And now I'm gonna take, this is how you make the best breakfast potatoes in my opinion. I'm gonna take some spray olive oil and just spray, sorry I didn't even film it, just spray a little bit of spray olive oil on them. There we go, now it's quiet again. As for seasonings, I'm gonna use just two basics, onion salt and I finally found at my grocery store my favorite seasoning, the spicy Montreal steak seasoning is bomb. So I'm gonna add a little bit of those in and then I'm gonna put them in the air fryer for like, eight minutes on 400 degrees and you guys will see they'll come out looking beautiful perfectly crispy but soft on the inside potatoes My gosh, you guys, does this not look incredible? I topped it off with a little bit of my favorite sriracha and some everything but the bagel. This looks so perfect. I wanted the egg to be just a little bit runny and I feel like I did it perfectly. Like it's just everything I could want. This looks amazing. You could always add some salsa as well. That would be really good or like a different type of glaze. I don't know what else would go on top but like a different type of sauce or like some type of dressing or something would be really good have fun with it but wow this is going to fill me up completely look at the potatoes you guys perfectly crisp i put them in for eight minutes like i showed you guys and then i did three more minutes after i shook them a little bit avocados perfect i did add in some sweet mini pepper as well arugula base with a little bit of pepper on the arugula egg and sriracha and that's everything this looks so good, I'm so excited to eat this right now. Hi guys, I have been working on my computer all day. I'm about to take a shower, but I wanted to quickly make lunch before I do that. I made this recipe a couple days ago for the first time, or not recipe, This it's a sandwich. I made this sandwich 
for the first time a couple days ago and it was so good so i'm gonna make it again today and it's really easy and it's just it hits the spot so get excited all right here's all the things that you're gonna need for this sandwich we have arugula of course every single recipe right um some guac this is farmer's bread but you can use any type of bread i'm sure sourdough would be really good i have some mustard you can do mayo and if you don't like mustard um some red onion and then i'm using what exactly is this oak oh, of course it's like ripped off but it's just i think it's just regular chicken breast it might be buffalo but just any type of you know deli meat that you want you can do turkey too and then for cheese you can do whatever again i'm just using um american but that's all you're gonna need start by toasting up some bread i'm only gonna do one slice of bread because i'm not that hungry because breakfast was bigger than I normally have for breakfast with all the potatoes and stuff. So I'm not that hungry, but feel free to do two slices of bread too if you're more hungry than me. you guys here is my finished sandwich everything I talked about I also added tomato I forgot to um, show you guys tomato but red onion tomato arugula mustard guac chicken and cheese and that's everything that's in this my little perfectly toasted yummy sandwich you guys need to try this it is so good i need to get my hands on some pesto because i know that's like the big thing on tiktok right now is the turkey pesto sandwich but this is equally as good it's delicious sandwiches are just a good thing to have when you're having a busy day and you don't have time to cook have a sandwich a healthy one with lots of greens and veggies in it and you're good but i'm gonna go ahead and eat my sandwich it's right behind me where is it there she is. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my sandwich, take a shower, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you guys when it's time for dinner, which I'm so excited about. I've been looking forward to it for so many days now. This lighting ain't too bad over here, huh? It's kind of like nice quality lighting. But let this be a lesson to you guys that if you're having a busy day, it doesn't have to be super complicated to eat healthy. A sandwich is really easy, not time consuming at all, and you can use a lot of things that you probably already have in your fridge. So yeah, don't overcomplicate things. If you're busy, just do something simple like that, and you can get right back to work or right back to school, whatever you're doing. But I'm gonna go eat my sandwich, and I will talk to you guys when it's time for dinner. Hi guys, I have had a busy day today, but it's finally time for dinner, and I've been looking forward to this so much for like the past couple of days. I'm just like, I can't wait to make it. And today is finally the day that I'm doing it. It does take a little while. So I feel like that's why I've been subconsciously putting it off, but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be so good. I already have it prepping. It's gonna, <laughs> I should just say what it is. It's gonna be a baked potato stuffed with taco stuff. Taco stuffed baked potato. I've done this before on my channel, but I did it with a sweet potato and I did it a long time ago. Like, I don't even remember how long ago. So I'm making it again. If you guys are new here, this is the first time you're seeing it. And if not, it's always good for a refresh. So I currently have the baked potato in the oven at 450. It's just about done. As you can see, we have about 20 seconds left. My oven window is kind of dirty, so it's kind of hard to see in, but it's been in there for 25 minutes so far. I had to take it out flip it over and then drizzle the skin with a little bit of melted butter. So I have my little, I call it a paintbrush. I don't really know what it's called, but I have this thing out because there we go. I'm gonna put some butter on it and then put it back in for another 20 minutes. So it does take a little while to be in the oven, but it's worth it. All right, I added the butter and a little bit of, where is it, some sea salt. I only have a little bit left in there, but I added some of that. Has 20 more minutes, and I'll probably start making the meat alternative in like 10 minutes or so. Okay, my potato is 
steaming. I lowered the oven temp to 400 degrees now. I'm just gonna let it sit while I cook the meat, but for the ground beef, instead of doing actual ground beef, I'm gonna use this brand, Light Life Smart Ground Plant-Based Crumbles. I already looked at it. I'm used to using one from Trader Joe's, but this one looks, if I can do this with one hand, it looks really similar to the one from Trader Joe's. I know it's not that appetizing when you look at it like this, but they always taste really good. So it says to just heat it up on a skillet with a little bit of oil for five to six minutes. I'm gonna add some taco seasoning to it and boom, done, easy. So besides the ground beef, here's everything else I'm gonna add in to my potato. You can always add whatever you want. I'm just gonna show y'all what I got going on. So this is my favorite salsa of all time. It's so good, it's from Target. Just trust me, the mild sweet onion salsa. I know y'all never thought I would recommend anything mild, but it's straight fire, okay? I go through like two of these a week and I don't even like salsa like that, but I just can't stop eating it once I start because it's that good. Another find from Target that I really love is this lime crema sauce. I found it in the taco aisle, I think, or like the aisle with all the um, taco ingredients and shells and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna use that. I have a little bit left of Valentina, so I'm gonna put some of that on top. I have some guac, which it looks like it's brown. Oh no, but I'm gonna add some guac on top and then Monterey Jack cheese, super yum. I think the meat is pretty much all done, even though you don't even really need to cook it because it's not real, but you know what I mean. I think it's almost ready to add into the potato and then I'm just gonna put it back in the oven for like two more minutes to melt everything together. Finished off with a little bit of tahini, but you can always add whatever you want to this, you guys. Corn would be good, some jalapenos, literally anything. You could do like a pineapple salsa, like make it fun, experiment, but this is just kind of what I had in my fridge and what I was feeling like. I am so excited. This looks incredible. I'm low-key starving. It's 10.45 at night, way past my bedtime, so. I'm excited to dig in. I'm gonna eat like this whole thing, I guarantee it, because I'm that hungry. And of course, I'm having it with some pineapple Perrier because that is my obsession right now. So perfect dinner to watch Real Housewives with. Hi guys, I just woke up. It's a few days later and I was sitting here editing this video and I realized, I just finished up editing it, I realized that I never filmed an outro for it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that night I probably just had like a couple chocolates, whether it was Reese's or like a lint truffle. I just, I switch it up every night, but every night for the most part, I have some type of chocolate, candy, like jelly beans or something at night. I don't remember specifically what I had this night, but it was probably something along those lines. But yeah, I just wanted to, my hair is like bedhead, but I just wanted to come on here and end off the video, tell you guys that I probably just had a little bit of candy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lots of really good recipes in it. It's like the dinner, the dinner that I had, the potato stuffed with taco, things was so good and then i loved my lunch with the sandwich i loved my breakfast bowl like i make that all the time now because it's really good and it's really filling if you're gonna have a really busy day it's good to like start off with something like that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribe to my other channel follow me on instagram check out built bar in the description box down below i think that's everything <laughs> that i have to plug I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video very soon. Bye.